Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you all why I never drink coffee, even if it's black coffee, when doing the one meal a day diet, or what some people would even call an intermittent fasting diet. So yeah, it's very, very simple why I do not consume it. And the reason why I want to share this with you is because so many people out there consume it on a regular basis with all types of different intermittent fasting methods and yeah i just feel that it isn't necessary but yeah a lot of people feel that it is and yeah the reason why i don't need it is simple i don't need a stimulant and that's what it is it doesn't matter whether it's legal or not it is still a plant-based stimulant that is overstimulating the nervous system and the adrenals it's making the body more acidic as well and it's just a fake source of energy that just elevates my heart rate higher than it should be when I'm resting and when I'm training. And I have tried some natural stimulants in the past before, and when I do training with it, it just makes my heart rate go well too high, my body temperature, and it just overstimulates my whole body and nervous system that just doesn't make me feel good whatsoever. And yeah, I just have an abundance of energy as it is. I don't need some stimulant to get me going in the morning or throughout the day. I find that water is more than adequate enough to make me feel good throughout the day. And if you're someone that cannot have an abundance of energy with any intermittent fasting method without coffee, then you need to be correcting the underlying root cause of the issue that is causing you to not have an abundance of energy and making you feel fatigued. And the different things that could be causing you to feel fatigued whilst intermittent fasting is not eating enough food during your eating window. Never count calories or calorie strict, just eat until you're completely satiated and full. Another factor can be is you're going to bed too late and or you're not sleeping enough. So make sure that you're going to bed as early as possible and try and go to bed no later than 10 p.m. I know everyone cannot do this due to their work schedules and their life schedules, but just try and do the best that you can do because you ideally want to be asleep around this time because if you're not, your human growth hormone levels that normally start to go up around 11 p.m. as shown through scientific research, will not start to massively increase whilst you're awake. So if you're going to bed past 10 p.m., you're not gonna be in the deeper state of sleep. So then you can optimize your human growth hormone production naturally whilst asleep. And another factor can be due to nutritional deficiencies. And I actually take a multi-nutrient supplement every single day and an EPA and DHA Omega-3 supplement and a few other supplements that I will put links down below for because people keep asking me time and time again which supplements you're taking, so there'll be links down below for them. So yeah, you just want to be making sure you're getting the broadest spectrum of nutrients possible by eating the most widest variety of plant foods and natural foods possible whilst taking one of the most highest quality multi-nutrient supplements possible. And so many people are just getting an excess of omega-6 in their diet, no matter what diet they're on, which causes chronic inflammation throughout the whole mind and body, and it causes neurological health disorders such as Alzheimer's and dementia later in life. So this is why I take an EPA and DHA supplement, which is a source of omega-3, and it comes directly from the source of microalgae rather than fish. The way fish get it into their body is through eating microalgae. So that's why I go directly to the source, and I always recommend this form of EPA and DHA, no matter what diet you're on or whether you're vegan or not. And another reason can be you're overtraining on a regular basis or you're just training too intensely. So wind back on the exercise if you're going over the top. Also chronic stress can cause you to feel really tired and overgrowth of candida. If you don't know about that, then do your research off online. Parasite infestations, dehydration. So yeah, find out what is causing you to feel fatigued and address the underlying root cause of it, and then you will not need coffee whatsoever. And in today's world, most people have very busy, active lifestyles, they've just got a lot going on and a lot of stress, so yeah, drinking coffee is just gonna make your body even more stressed out and overstimulated, more than it needs to be. So yeah, I don't feel any natural draw to it whatsoever. I just love having an abundance of energy with all of the amazing things that I do every single day, like going to bed early, exercising on a regular basis, but not overtraining the majority of the time, taking the multi-nutrient supplements and other supplements, 
Also doing NoFap, if you don't know about that, go and do your research up online. I also make sure that I do a lot of earthing, known as grounding, if you don't know about that. I highly recommend you check that out. Also do the plant-based diet with the one meal a day combined. And I do things such as the Wim Hof breathing method and other relaxation techniques as well. And yeah, all of these different things just make me have the most optimal state of health in mind and body and hormone production as well and energy levels and cognitive function as well so yeah i would just stick to having the water that i drink which is normally distilled water if you don't know about distilled water it's the only pure water in the world that is literally h2o with nothing else added to it and i make this at home with my counter top home water distiller known as a mega home water distiller if you are interested in them i'll put some links down below for these distillers and they can be shipped directly to your door in case you're interested in them and yeah when you distill water it removes all impurities and toxins because pretty much every other type of water except for distilled water has things in there that you do not want in your body because they have a whole host of negative effects on your mental and physical health holistically so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below and i get back as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about why i do not drink coffee even if it's black coffee with my one meal a day diet journey which some people know is an intermittent fasting diet and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more intermittent fasting informational videos for me on a regular basis one meal a day informational videos, calisthenics workout videos, calisthenics progression videos. Also, I show you what I eat in a day with my one meal a day on a plant-based, whole foods, vegan diet. And also what I do in a day and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to become the best version of yourself. But also to teach you about many different valuable things to push you in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body that you desire, the energy levels and the fitness levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.